The Dell G7 7588 is a powerful laptop from mid-2018 that was one of the first to feature the new 6-core CPUs from Intel, coupled with a GTX 1060 at the highest spec, for decent workstation-level performance as well as gaming at an affordable price. That said, two years later, is the Dell G7 7588 still a good laptop for both gaming and productivity? Is it finally worth upgrading your two-year-old system, considering the new hardware that has come out this year? Well, we're about to discuss all that and more. Also, I'll give you my opinion on the upgrades that can breathe extra life into your system and keep it going for a few more years. As I stated earlier, the Dell G7 was a very strong performer both in CPU and GPU heavy tasks being one of the fastest 1060 equipped laptops, despite being listed as a Max-Q, and even regularly beating the more expensive 6-core systems at CPU benchmarks. That said, the biggest gripe with this system has always been the screen. The panel that shipped to the Dell G7 has very low brightness and color accuracy. 220 nits of brightness, 60Hz and a 60% color accuracy didn't cut it in 2018 and certainly doesn't cut it today, at a time when affordable systems now ship with 144Hz and a good color accuracy as standard. So, my first recommended upgrade for the 7588 would be the screen panel. The panel that I run on my system and that I would recommend is the Chime CMN 15F4 also known as the N15 6HHE GA1. It is a 120Hz panel with 100% sRGB coverage and 300 nits of brightness, and will breathe a whole new life into your system. Colors will pop a lot more, games and web browsing will feel so much more responsive, and you will finally be able to do high color accuracy work without needing an external monitor. A very worthy upgrade for between $50 to $80, depending on availability of the panel. Now, granted, this panel won't do much for the absolutely thick bezels that this laptop has, but I guess it's something you're probably already used to. Also, it should be noted that this 120Hz panel has more color shift in the vertical axis than the original screen panel. However, it is a worthy trade-off, considering the other benefits of this panel. Next upgrade I would recommend is the storage. The Dell G7 is capable of running NVMe SSDs. However, they only shipped with the relatively small SATA SSDs of either 128 GB or 256 GB from the factory. NVMe drives have dropped significantly in price since the launch of this laptop, and a large 1 TB NVMe drive can easily be purchased for under $100 on sale. I personally upgraded to a 500 gig Samsung 970 EVO as well as a 2.5 inch 500 GB Western Digital SATA SSD, giving my system much needed additional storage and speed, especially when launching applications. I have a guide on my channel for upgrading to an NVMe SSD for those interested. Now, once you upgrade the M.2 SSD, you will end up with an unused drive, so you're probably thinking, how best you can possibly put it to use. My recommendation would be to use it as a portable external SSD. This can be done simply by purchasing a SATA M.2 enclosure for SATA SSDs or an NVMe enclosure if you have an NVMe drive. When connected to the Thunderbolt or USB 3 ports, these drives perform much better than conventional mechanical hard drives and this extra speed can give a much needed boost to your workflow. Another upgrade to my system that I would only recommend to those brave enough is the thermal paste. I swapped out the old thermal paste for some thermal grizzly cryonaut, and this has seen my temperatures drop significantly by over 10 degrees as the factory thermal paste is quite mediocre. Games and rendering applications will run faster because the CPU and GPU are able to boost for much longer. And I would say if you've been running stock paste for the last two years, it would be time to consider the upgrade. Now, 
One upgrade I would say is only necessary if you've bought the 8GB variant of the Dell G7 is the RAM. What Ample RAM does on your system is it allows Windows to load up as many core processes as possible onto memory, which can in turn make your system much more snappy and responsive overall. A 16GB kit would be sufficient for most people, however, if you run any video editing or 3D rendering work amongst other tasks, I would recommend the 32GB kit. They've dropped significantly in price by over 50% since the time I upgraded, making it an easy recommendation. I am yet to find out if the 64GB Samsung kit is compatible with this system. Do drop a comment below if you've had any success with this. Thank you for watching this video. This has been a listing of my recommended upgrades to the Dell G7 that I have done on my own system, though it is not exhaustive, so do feel free to experiment with other upgrades. Like and subscribe for more content like this, and in case of any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.